Hey there, welcome back to Startup Screen Printing. My name is Jesse. Today I wanna to show you guys a piece of software that I use in so many areas of my business. But we're gonna look at one specific area that I wanna show you how to do this in case you wanna do the same thing for your business. Now, one thing I found out very early when I started screen printing um, is that it, it was beneficial to keep a catalog of all of the artwork we had done for any customer over the years. We also kept the films too, but it became even more beneficial to just keep a running catalog of the digital versions of the artwork so that we could reprint new films. We can always reprint new films. That's no big deal. But losing the art file itself is a bigger deal. And searching through thousands of folders from any given year and trying to remember which year is a big deal. So what we did at that company is we had a simple Excel spreadsheet and we just had a specific naming convention that we utilized a couple of initials with the year and then a specific number of digits that ends with whatever number we're on at this given at that given moment. So um, I've set up the same thing for my business and I love to have this because again, we can go back and look at customer artwork. If somebody comes back to me and says, hey, remember that design I did two years ago? Here's the proof that you sent me. Can you do some more of this? And now I can go back into my system and say, okay, great. I've got, it's this number. I can search by that number, and then as soon as I find that number, um, I know that then I can get to all the other information. I either have a link to the Dropbox folder or I just upload the asset itself. So I've got the output file ready to go, the, the Illustrator file. Now, the software that I use for this is called Airtable, and you may or may not have heard of Airtable. It is um, you know, a more database-centric version of Excel. Um, it is phenomenal. I use it in, in a lot of personal areas as well as my business um, to just keep track of things, to catalog things. Uh, for example, I use it to keep track of all the maintenance records for both of my vehicles. So anytime we do any sort of maintenance, I log that maintenance in a personal vehicle database. Um, that, that way I can always pull that up. I've always got it on me. There's, an, there's a, a mobile app available. So I love Airtable. I think it's a fantastic application. So um, let's just go ahead and jump in and I can show you around this, what would they call a base, which is essentially a database or a spreadsheet. And I'll show you around the base and let you see kind of how I've set this up. And maybe this can help you set up your own artwork catalog. Um, I would highly encourage you to do that as you begin to grow your business, if you haven't already, because you will have people that come back to you and say, hey, I need this file and it was two years ago or, you know, I'm ready to reprint this. And so you can easily look back and find the exact file that you need, the information from when you printed it last, when it was created, et cetera, whatever information that you want to have available. Um, but it also is nice to be able to just do some research in your own business and say, hey, how many, how, how many of my artwork database, how much of it is just front prints or, um, you know, used black ink. And these are all information pieces that you can include in the Airtable base that I'll show you. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now I've got Airtable open. This is what it looks like once you're inside of a given base. And once you're inside the base, um, you essentially see a spreadsheet view. Um, I've got a, a view collapser over here. I can open this up and I can develop different views. So you can see I can do a gallery view here that I've already set up, or I can go back to the grid view um, you can add new views down here and, you know, I've got a few extra if you have the pro subscription. Um, and then you can uh, have the database columns just like you would in Excel, Excel spreadsheet and you can either show or hide these columns. Now what I have here, I've got a formula field and if I double click into this, you can see it's got a little formula here and copy this formula if you're going to do um, an Airtable base like this. Um, or I'm going to make this base available for download in the description, so be sure you check there as well if you just want a copy that's already set up and ready to go. Um, then I've got the customer name, the artwork name. These are just you know various situations, various uh, not situations, various columns that I wanted to set up. These are the different pieces of data that I wanted to have available. I've got a keywords column, a date created. This is a you know a date field. This one is a multi-select, so you know I could choose either ones that have already been set up or I can type in my own. Then I could do an art proof here if I wanted to upload the actual proof 
that I've sent to the customer, you know, in that PDF file, then I can place that right here. Um, I've also got an area that where I can upload the design file. Um, and, and actually, I don't even have this as an upload field. I've got this as a link field because the intention here, I keep all of my um, art files, I, every, all of the work I do for both of my businesses, for any of my business efforts, for this YouTube channel, for my screen print business, for my web design and consulting business, um, anything I do, I keep it all in Dropbox. So the idea here is that when I'm done with a file and I'm ready to print this customer's order, I can come back to this artwork database and I can place a Dropbox link to that file. So not only do I have access to all the information here just by that artwork number, but I also have a link directly to the design file whenever I need it. Any relevant notes that I want to include for the customer and then you know, ink colors that are included in the file or that um, maybe are, you know, what it was printed as, you know, the file itself could be black like this one, but maybe I printed this one in white. And so we'll say this was white ink. Now let's back up a minute and look at this artwork number. So what I've chosen to do in my business, this is the way I do it. I have my own design files. I have my own artwork that are my brand t-shirts. So the things that I'm either selling or want to give away. And then I have my customer artwork. And so my brand ones, I also want to keep track of those in this same way because I want to be able to find those easily, look back at a database of them and, and do some research. With the customer artwork, that's exactly what the CA stands for in mine. Now you could have, if your business is John's t-shirts, you could have JT. Or, you know, the company I used to work for was Brooks Screen Printing. So we had BR, the first two letters. So this could be whatever you want it to be. And if I double click it back into this formula field, you can see what's happening here. It's concatenating the letters CA with the date and time formatted of today in the format of two digit year and two digit month. And then the... Um, this last part here is what gives it the number of digits that then add on a number at the end. So what this is saying here is from the right, we're going to go with zeros and plus a number, and that's going to be a total of three digits. So if I look back at this other here, you can see I've got CA, year, year, month, month, and then zero, zero, this would be another zero, but it has the number. And so it said, if there's three zeros, if there's no number, it's got a number. So we're going to add a number and the total number of digits is going to be three. That way it doesn't bump those three over. And that keeps all of these the same number or same, I'm sorry, same number of digits so that they are all aligned. So you don't have one that's, you know, CA23036. They're all zero, zero something. Or when it gets into double digits, it's zero, two, zero. Or if it makes it up into triple digits, then 105, you know, so they're all the same number of digits um, for all of these IDs. And for me, that helps out. So if you haven't looked into Airtable, I highly encourage you to do so. I do have a link in the description that is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost any money. That's only if you use the pro version. Um, I don't pay for the pro version. I don't have to at this point. Um, so it's, it's, really capable without the pro version. So by all means, use the free until you feel like it's necessary or you want some of the other features that are available in the pro version. But definitely recommend you check it out. They've added a bunch of new things like um, the, the views and something like this called an interface. So if I look in this interface here, um, this is what it would show me. And so I could see the artwork as their individual you know cards here. I could add new artwork. And so this is like, if you don't want to see the table, the, the database, you know, table spreadsheet version, you could create this version and, uh, you know, it has a little bit better visual appeal, but you could also do similar thing with just the gallery view. Um, you could also set up a form and do a form view. And then you have all of the fields here and you could set this form to be live on the internet so that then you could go to that page of the form, fill it out. And now you've added artwork to your database. You could even have your customer fill it out and, and it automatically adds it to your database. That would be great. In fact, 
I think I might start doing that um, rather than having them send me the file. Uh, hey, go fill out this artwork uh, when it makes sense. So again, take a look at, at Airtable. Um, definitely recommend you keep a running database of all of your artwork files. I think there's a lot of benefit in it for looking back at historical documents and being able to pull that stuff up when a customer needs it and they're ready to place another order. So let me know if there's something else that you use in place of Airtable to do the same thing. Maybe you just use a spreadsheet. Um, maybe you have some aspect of that that's really worked well for you and you'd like to share in the, with the community. I think that would be great. Post that in the comments. But um, if you haven't given it a try and you're not keeping track of all of your artwork through artwork numbers, I highly recommend you do so and uh, give Airtable a try in order to do that or use Excel. It works just as fine. It's just a little less fun. So um, that's it. Uh, Going to start doing more of these computer based tutorials and more business strategy based tutorials um, and topics. So uh, I'm going to keep the screen printing videos going, but let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like to see as it pertains to things on the computer design files, you know, illustrator stuff, Photoshop stuff, rip software stuff, color separations, half tones, um, and beyond anything that I can do on a computer. I want to show you these things too. So let me know where your struggles are, where you would like to grow and let's see if we can help you, um, take the next step. So, uh, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments and leave me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Until the next video, I hope you have a fantastic day.